Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Grand Surveyor 267 RBS travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of the RV, show you what this new 2024 is all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 Grand Surveyor 267 RBS. This is one of Surveyor's most popular couple coaches. We're gonna go over some of the inside changes and then we'll head back outside. So let's start up front here in the bedroom section. So overall, you're gonna see different hardware color, different cabinet colors, some different wallboard colors. Some other changes we'll kind of go over. But here you have hanging closet, some upper space, and then you have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Just back in behind here, you're gonna also have some shelf space. You have directional reading lights up above. Another new feature that they added is going to be down here at the bed area. This bed will raise up, which is normal, but they separated part of this storage under here and put two drawers under here as well. So you can kind of see there the drawer space, it does open up and they put a motion light inside there as well. Now you have an electric outlet and USB charger port on each side of the bed. They're located down below here. Plenty of room to maneuver around and walk around the bed in here. Window on each side of the bed does open. There's TV hookups over there, and you also have a heat duct coming out the wall over there. Now, this one was ordered with 50 amp electric service and prepping for a second AC, which would be a drop AC that goes in this vent right here. And then there's a plate right there for the electric. Sliding door for privacy here. So again, you have hardware change on your cabinetry in here, faucet countertop change as well. Flip up countertop extension. It's very important to make sure that's down before you run your slide out in so you don't damage something. Undermount stainless style sink. Digital thermostat over here for your AC and propane furnace. Couple electric outlets there. You have your Furion uh, oven with the three burner cooktop, central vac with the dustpan vac down below, electric box, furnace return, Furion refrigerator, which is a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator, Furion hood range light and fan. Quite a bit of cabinet space here. These are some pretty big cabinets. All vinyl floor throughout the RV, even on the slide out as well. They did a matching vinyl floor on your slide floor. The furniture color is also changed up. Your window valance is changed up as well. Down below here, you have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. The dinette table will make into a bed so you could sleep an extra guest or two right there. Seat wise, this one was ordered with the theater seat feature. So this will recline back, but then also this center part right here will flip down and give you some little cup holders. But you kind of see here the new color for the furniture. And then you have pull down nightshades. Some more overhead cabinet space above there as well. Directly across from your theater seat area right here, you have your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have some storage space, Furion soundbar, and a Hisense smart TV. 
Now back in behind the entertainment center area is another closet area. So here you have a floor to ceiling closet with lots of shelf space for pantry use or whatever you want to use it for. And then you could also use it as a coat closet and even put some things in front of those shelves there if you got like your brooms and dust pans and things like that. Pretty hefty door as well there. Your entry exit door is pretty standard. It does have the window. It is the black glass entry door you'll see when we get outside. But it does have the window in it again and it is Lippert thin shade ready so there's an aftermarket shade you can buy for this. And here we have the solar charge controller. There's a solar panel on this particular unit. Slide control, some light switches, awning switch, in and out, and all that stuff here as well. Another roof vent up top. And you can see the Furion ducted AC up here as well. Sliding door, giving you privacy for the bathroom area. Now back here, you have a little sink area here, some counter space, and again, you can kind of see the new color here. You have your monitor panel here, and basically you got your water pump switch, water heater on gas switch. Um, this is now using the new on-demand water heater instead of a tank heater. So you have kind of an on-off switch here, but then you have controls over here. Then you have 12 volt tank heaters, uh, this one again was ordered with that Arctic package, so you got 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping. Let's check out this cabinet section here. So we got some cabinet space down below. And a pretty decent amount of towel and linen space here as well. The window across the back here will also open, and it has a pull-down nightshade on it as well. Porcelain foot flush toilet. There is quite a bit of room in this bathroom to be able to get in and out of the shower and stuff and get dressed and not feel like you're cramped, even sitting on the toilet and stuff. Plenty of elbow room. Roof vent up there, AC duct in here, heat duct in here. You have skylight up above. There is some more storage space back here. Step-in shower with the pull-across vinyl curtain set up. ABS tub surround. But overall, really nice improvements, I think. Definitely like the new colors. Was a little nervous about it. Everybody was kind of used to the traditional colors over the last couple years with the grays and browns and stuff. Uh, but they did change it up nicely. All right, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. Um, be sure to uh, also like, share, subscribe, and remember to you know put down in the comments, what do you think? Do you like, like the new look? All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new Surveyor. 267 RBS here. We're going to start here on the door side and kind of work our way around. We're going to kind of go through this a little quick. It looks like it's getting ready to storm on us, so let's check it out here. So first things up, we have new graphics for 2024 on the outside. You still have the white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. The unit has a pass-through storage compartment across the front right here. There is light switch for the front cap light, motion light in here as well. There is the griddle that comes with this model as well. Now just down below there you can see power front stabilizer jacks on this model, enclosed underbelly as well. There's a little outdoor kitchen area here. So you got a little table here on the side to set your griddle up. You got a little cold water dump sink, cold water spray port, and a 110 volt mini fridge right there. Deep tent safety glass windows. Just below that is your two outdoor speakers along with a traditional porch light. You have double axle, is aluminum wheels, Goodyear endurance tires, you have drum brakes, easy lube hubs, 
They're using the black safety glass entry door as well. You also have power rear stabilizer jacks. Just in front of those jacks is going to be your hot and cold low point water drain. They're using the upgraded step. It does have uh, 400 pound capacity where the traditional hover style steps only rated for 300 pounds. But the feet come down, touch the ground. Traditional flat back rear end. You do have again the spare tire on the back also has the traditional four inch square tube bumper. There is a two inch hitch receiver on the back so you can do like a bike rack or something on the back if you wanted to. It is also prepped for a Furion rear observation camera. You're also prepped for a Lippert stow and go portable ladder. This one was ordered with a 50 amp detachable power cord instead of a 30. So you could have a second AC on there if you wanted to. Right here you have your black tank flush, city water connection, cable and satellite connection here. And then just down below right there is your dump for the rear bath area. The slide out is prepped for the Soul Air slide toppers. So if you want to add that on aftermarket, you can talk with your salesperson about doing that. Just in front of the axles right here, we have another dump for your kitchen. Then you have your front power stabilizer jacks again on this side, and you can also see the fresh water tank dump. They are using the on-demand water heater currently. You can also see right here, there is the fresh water fill as well. The other side of the past due storage, there's inverter prep right back here. So if you wanted to add an inverter, you could do so. Now we're gonna pop up a couple stickers here real quick for you. I wanna show you some of these uh, weight stickers for you. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This has the production date, VIN number, but most importantly, gross vehicle weight. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the assembly line. And next after that is going to be your tire sticker, telling you tire size, but most importantly, tire pressure. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. You have a fiberglass front cap, lower diamond plate metal, big windshield on the front as well. There is also the big LED glow light there. You have two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard bottle cover. You have your power tongue jack. You have the heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, room for one or two batteries. The battery disconnect is located right back there as well, along with the little repeater for the tire pressure monitoring system. Um, so you again have that tire pressure monitor to keep up with things. All right, folks, thanks for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Sorry this outside part had to be a little bit quicker, but this storm is rolling in quick. Uh, please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.